Hey there, it's Dave back for another jazz video lesson. We're on now part two of how do I get started improvising. So in part number one, and if you haven't watched video number one, go back and watch that. Part number one, we talked about limitation exercises. So taking a scale, playing with a metronome, and starting on one note, trying to create something that grooves really good adding a second note, adding a third note, and eventually working your way and adding a whole scale with the idea of uh, playing, fitting it in with the steady beat, um, with the swing feel, and uh, listening back, recording yourself and listening to yourself back. Remember, that's really important. Record yourself often and listen to it back. You will, you will thank me for that one because um, you're gonna hear some things that you, you may not have noticed. Okay, so part two today, we've got something a little bit different than what we did in the first one. And again, it's another great way to get yourself improvising with not that much of experience and be able to do some things that kind of sound cool. So we are going to take a melody that we already know and we're going to improvise around it. This is something that you hear all the time. And the, thing, the place that you probably hear this the most is the national anthem, Star Spangled Banner. Think about when you watch a, a football game, a, a baseball game, basketball game, and you see someone singing or playing the national anthem. There's so many different interpretations. You can listen to 50 different people and they're going to do it slightly different. Um, most of us probably know the real melody to the Star Spangled Banner, but very infrequently when, when we hear people do that, do we uh, actually hear it. So we hear people improvising around the melody. The core of the melody is there, the words, the most of the notes uh, are there, but you hear them changing rhythms, you hear them changing notes. So we're gonna do that in here today, and we're gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate it on a really simple song that anybody could do. This is I, the song I usually pick uh, with my students the first time I have them do that, and that is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And you could say, oh, that's silly, uh, I don't want to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. But guess what? It's a song that you could all play really easily so you can focus, because you'll know it well enough, you can focus on improvising around it and not worrying about making sure that you actually know the notes of the tune. And then this will translate over to any other song that you want to do the song. Okay, so what I'm going to do again, I'm going to set my metronome up. I have it set at this time at 80 beats per minute. I'm still thinking beats two and four. I'm going to play first the straight melody of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And then I'm gonna start improvising with it. So remember we talked about two and four. Two, three, four, and we talked about that. Two, three, four, one, two, uh, two, um. Mm. my melody. Now I'm going to improvise. When I improvise this first time, I am only going to improvise the rhythms. I'm not going to touch anything with the notes. Let's check this out. Just the rhythms. All I did was all the notes were there. I just improvised the rhythm. I'm gonna do it again. Maybe something totally different. Again, all the notes were there. I didn't play any notes that were not in the original melody. Okay, so once you have that really good and you can really improvise uh, and just rhythmically feel it, now I'm going to add in some notes. Let's, so let's see what that sounds like. Let's listen to some different possibilities of what I can do adding notes in. One, two, one, two, mm. All right, that was okay. You know, there were definitely some things if I listen back, I bet I might not love. Let's give it another go. Mm, two, uh, mm, mm, mm. Okay, 
was all right. Again, towards the end, I felt like I, I added a beat in there. And that's things that, again, as I would listen back, I would watch out for. So let's go, let's go one more take. Okay, so again, this is one of those things to do over and over and over again. And again, you could slow the metronome down, you could speed it up. But no matter what, you want to fit in with the beat. Okay, now once you have that, again, you can use any uh, song. Some of the other songs that I use um, for beginners are that When the Saints Go Marching In. It's another nice, nice tune because it's a fairly simple melody, and that'll get you improvising around that. So When the Saints Go Marching In. Uh, Yankee Doodle. I know these are all like songs that you say, hey, that's too easy. Now, we get into the jazz world. If you know uh, a song, Autumn Leaves. Autumn Leaves is a really nice one because it has a lot of long notes. Um, and it's fairly simple melodic, but it's nice melodic. Um, that's a good song. But take, again, feel free, take any song that you know and improvise around it. But remember, the key is, the core of the song, as someone listens to you, they should be able to hear the melody, the song. Um, the beat, you shouldn't lose any beats. You should have a good feel. And again, these are all great ways to improvise. Now we're improvising, and you might say, hey, I didn't do some crazy fancy solo, but I improvised in this strategy. So, get to work with that. If you have any questions, shoot me a comment down below. Make sure to remember to subscribe to the videos. We'll have some more, I have some more great videos coming your way in the coming days. Uh, and again, like I said, any comments, leave them down below. All right, I'll, I'll see you guys later.